Good day, grade 10s. Welcome to the last lesson in week 9. It's not the last lesson on trigonometry, it's just our last lesson in week 9. And today we're going to be teaching you how to use your calculator. Now, a lot of you have got different types of calculators. This is a Casio, it's a very fancy Casio. Don't be perturbed by that. You might either have a sharp or you might have a different type of Casio, or you might have a very basic calculator. Doesn't matter, it always, always works the same way. Um, but if it doesn't work exactly the same as this, use your manual and make sure that you know how to use this. Now the first and third important thing is to make sure that your calculator is always in the degree mode. Always in degrees. Because you've got, if you've got it in radians or in grads, it's not actually going to give you the right answer. It's a totally different answer. And then you're going to get everything in your whole sum incorrect. Okay, so let's see how we would type in sine of 57. Very easy. Nowadays it's just sine of 57 and that is equal to 0 0.838. Now remember we always round off to two decimal places so we look at this third decimal and we see that the third decimal is 0 0.838 that means we're going to round this second decimal up to 4 so the correct answer for this is 0 0.84 so if I write that in if I write it in it's going to be that that is equal to 0.84. Right, let's try the next one. The next one says cos of 24 degrees. So we're going to clear this and then again very easy we're just going to go cos 24 equals and that's 0.913 so again we're going to look at this and we can see that that there is smaller than 5 so it just remains 0.91 so the answer here is equal to 0.91 now the next one is so it looks scary but it's not actually for the simple reason that if you look at it we can just plug it into our calculators very easily so what do we do this 14 times 38 plus 23 means 14 times this trig ratio so we're going to go 14 times tan bracket 38 plus 23 close brackets equals and what you get is 25.256 so again the reason I'm looking at this number here is because I want to see if I have to round this up or down and because this number 6 is bigger than 5 or is 5 and bigger we're going to round this up to a 6 so the correct answer for this is 25.26 so this becomes equals 25.26 25.26. Now for this what you need to realize is this is the same thing as saying sine of 36 squared. We actually read this as sine 36 squared. So that's sine 36 all squared. So if we had to do that on our calculator, again we're going to clear it, we're going to go bracket sine 36 close bracket and then we're going to find the squared button and then we, ooh, I've said 336, that's not right. So let's just go back, back, um, backspace, delete, delete, delete. And we're going to go 36 and we're going to close our bracket. There we go, sine 36 squared and we're going to equals. And you see that's 0 0.345. So again, we have to round up and it becomes 0 0.35. So that there is equal to, that is equal to 0.35. So yeah, what we've done is we've been using the angles to find the ratios. Now we're going to do it the other way around. Oh no, first we're going to do reciprocals. Reciprocals. Now reciprocals are easy because remember, we just have to remember that this is the same as 1 over the sine of 30 degrees. This is the same as 1 over the cos of 27 degrees and this is the same as 1 over the tan of 45 degrees. So let's see how we can do this on our calculator. There are a couple of ways but there's a very easy way and the most the easiest way is to do use that button over there and I'll show you what that means in a minute. That button is x to the minus 1 and what it does is invert. So what we do is this we go Let's see, the first one is the inverse 
of sine 30. So it's 1 over sine 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go sine 30 and I'm going to get the answer of 0 0.5 but I don't want sine 30, I want 1 over sine 30. So I'm going to press shift and then I'm going to press the x1 button, x the minus 1 button. So in other words, what am I doing? I'm inverting my answer and I get the answer of 2, which is correct. So that answer there is 2. Now let's look at the secant of 27. So the secant of 27 is the inverse of cos of 27. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go cos 27 equals. So that's 0.89. Oopsie, I pressed it twice. So that's 0.89. So that is the equivalent of writing 1 over 0.89. Now instead of then going dividing 1 by divided by 0.89, what we can do in our calculator is we can go shift x the negative 1 because that means it's the inverse of that and you can press your xy button and you get 1.12. Guys, if you don't have an xy button, it's just the equals button, really. I don't know why they decided to call this the xy button on this calculator. So then that is equal to 1.12. Let me just prove this to you. If I go 1 divided by 0.89, I will get 1.12. So there you can see that that is doing exactly the same thing. So the answer for this is equal to 1.12. Now let's do cot 45. So cot 45 is the inverse of tan 45. So again I'm just going to clear it and I'm going to go tan of 45 and it, that is 1. So obviously 1 over 1 is just 1. So that makes life very easy. And that answer there is just, where's this arrow? 1. Okay, easy. Hey, right, now let's look. There we go. Now we're trying to find the angle. So we're trying to find this theta, the angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a second function. So in other words, what we're going to do is we're going to go second function. And so we're going to use sine to the negative 1 of 0 0.5 and we're going to get an angle. Yeah, we're going to go cos of negative 1 of 0 0.8 lots of 6s, 4 6s. And yeah, we're going to use tan to the negative 1 of 0 0.577. So when we're trying to find the angle, we use the inverse of the sine. Use the inverse of the cos and the inverse of the tan. So let's do that now, shall we? So. If you look carefully above your sine and your cos and your tan, there will be sine to the negative 1, cos to the negative 1, tan to the negative 1. And the way you get that is you use your shift button. So you're going to go shift sine, okay, shift sine of 0.5 or 0 0.5 and that is equal to 30 degrees. So shift sine of 0 0.5 is equal to 30 degrees because we're getting the angle now, 30 degrees. Let's do cos. Okay, if you're a little bit freaked out about not using brackets, you can use them. So let's go through this. You go shift cos, open bracket, zero, oh, let me just make it easier for you, 0 0.81234, close bracket, equals. And you can see that's 29.93 degrees, 29.93 degrees. So if I write that down, it becomes 29 point nine three degrees. In fact, that if we carry on rounds up to 30 degrees, but you don't need to worry about that right now. And then let's do tan. So again, so do you see that it doesn't matter whether I put the bracket in or not, I'm going to get the right answer. Let's try tan. So it's going to be shift tan. So whenever you are you getting the angle, you use shift of that degree. So shift sign, shift cos, shift tan gets us to the inverse and then let's open a bracket 0.577 close a bracket equals 29.984 so just stays 29.98 29.98 right and that's it great tens that is how easy it is to find your angles and to find your ratios using a calculator please practice and please make sure your calculator is in the degrees mode thank you very much have a lovely day enjoy your day Thank you.